So I'm finally going to do a video on the 4694-347. I did a video on this when I first got it, unboxing it, but never did a video of it all set up. Hopefully the rain isn't too loud in the background. Uh, but yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and start it up here. This is the same as my other 4694. I was really lucky to find this with all the peripherals with it. So, same setup here. These are the uh, new stickers I'm using to label all these systems. See, it's got uh, the, the number on there, and then these uh, Roman numerals are the peripherals. And then the date it was printed, and um, the uh, asset tag, which is this computer's number, which is C15. Uh, as an example, over here, this system I have to do a video on, that has its model number. It's actually wrong. It's supposed to be 743. This has no peripherals like assigned to it, so there's nothing there. And it is 132. And it was printed on 31st, uh, just as this one was. So it has the lock on it, which is pretty cool. I have the keys right here. So this just locks. Um, it might lock the case as well, but it locks, at the very least, it locks the floppy. So you either can't take something out or can't put something in. So that's pretty cool. The keyboard uses a, a different key actually, and I bought this separate, but it's the uh, same, similar build date. This is, um, let's see here, 07, or 02, 10 of 03. And I just clicked it out of place. Just there. So, like I said, it's, um, Similar, similar year because this system is uh, 2000. It's the build date on it. So I guess we can turn it on now. No OS or anything yet. And I bought this pole display. Well, let me go to setup. Some info there. So on this, uh, this is right on the edge of when they switched to Toshiba. I think it's like 2012 is the build date. But obviously it looks very similar. The uh, only difference might be the IBM logo too. As far as to what this would actually came with. So in here we have the date and time. I think that's correct, I'm not for sure. Got the diskette stuff. Um, Okay, that's a CPU, a VIA C3. Um, it's a speed, system memory. Not a very fast system, obviously. Some stuff here. ASIC, I'm not real sure what ASIC is. Actually, I probably should know, but I don't. So this is some of the cooler stuff. Wake on land, stuff like that. Boot order. And exit. See what else it does. Might also flash some interesting stuff. I'll just show all the screens. This actually has a. Uh, I should have showed it in the video. I'm sure I did, but it has a DVI port on it, which is funny. It still has the. VGA, I believe. I believe that's how this connects. Uh, yeah, not much happens over here on this one, I guess. Can't really see the other one, but... Go ahead and turn it off here. See, so, yeah, the monitor was new. I think everything else had been used before. Especially given how this is a new one, so you can see the difference. You should be able to see. There's definitely a difference in color. I can obviously see it much better, but um, yeah, just want to do a video on this separate from everything else, just showing it. Not much else to say. So uh, I guess one other thing is this is the monitor style it uses. It's got the longer. So the newer ones stop, like right here, 
This goes right to the end. That's one difference. And this is also, which I'm happy about, is this is right, it's not raised, it's right to the base. My, uh, my other Sherpas, my 700 series one, was raised, and I always hated that. I like it when they're lower. So, oh uh, yeah, so that's it. Thanks for watching.